when I was starting to learn SQL and um, most of the learning platform I was learning from already had an SQL part installed. So I, I just use it there. And the first day I said, okay, let me take raw data and actually import it into Postgres or my SQL. It was a hurdle for me. I couldn't navigate. So in this video, I am actually going to tell you, teach you and show you how to import a CSV file into Postgres SQL. All right, let's begin. So if you open your PG admin for, this is the interface that you are going to see. Apparently you are not going to see this interface. The interface you're actually going to see is more like um, this. Let me just close this so that you get accustomed to exactly what you're going to see. Yeah, this is what you are going to see. So if this is what, once you open your PG admin 4 and you see this, just come here to this arrow and click this, come to database. When you come to your database, we are dealing with schema. Schema will be like this. So just click on schema and um, your data table, this is, the, this is what we are looking for. Your data table is going to be like this. So once you get to this point, the next thing for you to do is actually to import your data. But to import your data, you must have already had your data either prepared by yourself or you've gotten a public available data that you want to import into your PG admin for. In my case now, I have a data available in my SQL. Now, this is my data um, and my data has um, one, two, three, four, five rows. This is my data. It has um, over five rows of data. And this is the data I am going to import into the PG admin for. So once you prepare your data like this, and this is an integer, you have to take care to know what is a data type. This is an integer, 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 and this is a, a, a varchar. This is an integer also. So once you know that and you note the name that you gave to your data column, like this, sales ID, product ID, and all of these. And once you note this down and you've created, or you want to create your table by yourself, or you've created your table, Ensure to save it as a CSV file. Now, if you if you already have your table, let's say you imported your data from somewhere else, click on save as. Ensure that it is a it is save as CSV file. In my case, I don't just want to save it as a CSV, comma delimited. I want to save it in UTF-8 um, encoding. And there are other several CSV if we are used to um, Excel here. But what we are using is this. So I won't save this file again because I have already saved the file and this is my file. So I will go back to PG admin 4 and click here. Create table. And I click on table. And this is what I'm going to have. You have to name your table. It is very, very important that you name your table. Now, when you want to name your table, what do we name this table? Let's just name it sales data. I can join this table like this name. But it doesn't, it's not appropriate to do that. So I will just put that and make it like this. If you are naming your table, it is always advisable to make it one word. Don't keep a space in your table because when you actually want to use that table to solve your SQL problem, it's always going to take more time because you have to put it in double quotation to use it. So use one word or you use the underscore like I've used here. And that is awesome. So once you do that, this is already here. It's automatic. You don't have to do anything about this. You come to column. Now, this is where we create our column. Remember when I told you to note your column name? I noted mine. And my first column was sales ID. And what kind of data type was it? It was integer, like you all noted. Since this is a primary key, I will click on not null because I don't want that value to be null. And the second one was product ID. So I will just insert product ID. And it was also an integer. The third one was um, quantity. And it was also an integer. The fourth one was coupon code. And it was a voucher, a character varying. And the last one, which is also the fifth one, was abandoned with. 
there and it was an integer all right so this is everything in my table you click on save amazing so this is it so if you click on the cells data and you click on column you will see the table but the table is still empty because you have not yet imported the data so what do we need to do right click on the cells table the data that you have created and then choose import data so once you import data this is what you're going to have if you click export I mean you have not we are importing the data so this is the data we are importing and then you click on where you save your data now because i've already imported data from this place i will still come here and click on it because this is the data i want to import and the format please make sure it is csv and here yeah, this utf8 remember this is what i save my data as and you come here to options now i'm going to tick this off because if you are doing it for the first time you might not remember to put this on and it's going to give you an error so if i click ok yeah it shows an error most times it's advisable to view what is the error data view it what does it say invalid input syntax for type for type integer cells id it means it's invalid because i did not take the error so let's go back there and correct that so you right click this and you click on import data again and you click here and you have this and you open it in the options column make sure you take this on your delimiter is always comma quote is always all this is okay by me i do not have a problem with that and you click okay now it's finished it's successful and it's complete so once you do that it means we have successfully imported our data how then do we know to check it you come here to tools click on your query tool allow it to open your query tool once it opens your query tool let's write a simple sql syntax select from that cells name is cells data and then we run it oops that is successful so this is how to actually import your csv into a postgres sql thank you for watching if you find value in this video kindly um like this video drop a comment how was it helpful for you did you run into the kind of error i run to was it helpful for you to learn about that and kindly subscribe to my channel for more videos stay blessed and have a good life my name is Menson Fonny Sodor.